Hey guys, Tim for Artillery Fishing, and I want to go over a lure that I have been throwing just recently, started the spring of this year, and it has been having some pretty good results for me. It's called the Free Rig. So the Free Rig is a rig that I personally discovered on a YouTube channel by this Korean angler named Angler Jung, and I'll link her in the video at the end. Anyways, Angler Jung was going through, she was showing different lures that she throws, different rigs that she throws, and one of them just looked really weird to me. It was called the free rig, and I'm like, what the heck is this? So I did some research on it, and I saw a pro fisherman, Shin Fukai, he you know, was throwing this in a lot of American tournaments that he was working with. I think specifically for bed fishing is what he was using it as, but you can use it in multiple different ways, according to him. So I went ahead, rigged one up, tried it out, and sure enough, I started catching fish on it. And it wasn't just in the springtime for bed fish. I started catching fish on it in the summertime. I was pitching it underneath docks. All sorts of different methods that I was using to, to throw this. And I felt like a good alternative for this bait is when you're throwing a Carolina rig, it's almost... Mm, it, I wouldn't say it's the same thing as a Carolina rig. It has the same type of action on the fall, but then when you get it up and you pop it up in the air, the, the, the weight comes up and it falls down. It just, it, it gives a completely different action than you see on any other baits, hence why it's called the free rig. Well, hey, you know what? Enough of me talking about it. Let's go to the tank and check it out. All right, so here is the free rig. This is basically how it works. You got yourself a nice little bait. Right up here, I got myself a Zoom Z car on there, Watermelon Red, one of my favorite baits. I'll throw a bead on, and I'll throw this sink. I'll, I'll throw this sinker on right here. So once again, I got my Zoom Z crawl on a nice wide gap hook. I got a bead, and I got this sinker. And the key is with this sinker, because this is something I used to throw when I was catching little catfish when I was a kid. I was like, I never thought I'd have a use for these again. The reason why it's called the free rig is because these are free moving up and down the line. There is no bobber stop, there's nothing stopping it. So how does something like this work? Well, let's put it in the tank. This is what it looks like when it falls in the water. You see that? The weight goes first, then the bead and then the bait. Look at that ash. Look at how that looks on the water. The weight goes down, it brings it down straight, and then the bait falls. And what makes this so unique is I'm just going up and down with this. When you're moving it from side to side, it could look totally different, totally unique underneath the water, something that the fish might not have seen yet. Now, once again, what makes this bait so unique is the fact that that line is just, that, that bobber and the bead are just free flowing on that line while the weight is just moving, or as you were, while the bait is just moving underneath and slowly floating back down following. And what makes this so key is that when you do a pitch, like underneath a dock, instead of the bait swinging back at you, making this swing back motion, because that's what it does underneath the water, when you pitch that bait, you only have so much line out, and then you stop it, you think it's going right underneath the dock. It's not going right underneath the dock, it actually has an arc on it, and it's arcing back towards you. So it's not going directly underneath the dock. Now what this bait does is because of that free flow weight, it'll actually go where you pitch it. And that's why I throw it on a spitting setup. This rod I'm throwing it on is a very easy and cheap rod. This is just a $30 uh, Rhino rod, the you know, medium action, six foot six, I believe. And I got literally the cheapest spinning reel you could think of on here. I, I, I bought this. I don't even know where I bought it. I bought it when I first started fishing. I just hadn't used it since I got more into fishing. I'm throwing out a very, very cheap setup. I like a medium action because it just seemed to work the best for me out of all the rods I was trying out. And I'll throw it on mono filament. Reason why I'm throwing it on mono is kind of the same reason why a lot of people like to throw a Carolina rig on mono. I feel like it gets a little bit more action in the water when you're making those pops and stuff. And just because of the buoyancy of mono filament, 
filament. I throw it once again on this spinning setup because I can throw out enough line where I don't have to worry about a backlash. Then I know this is actually gonna go underneath that dock that I'm throwing it at. That's simply the reason why. And it's really fun to me too because now I could use these cheap rods that I had laying around that I had no real use for anymore and I could use them to catch fish and it works. This rig, different, innovative, creative, came from Korea once again. If you're looking for something to change the game up and you just want to throw something different, you're tired of throwing the same stuff or maybe the fish are just not biting on what you normally throw, Try something different, tie on the free rig. I'm pretty sure you will not be disappointed. I'm Tim with Artillery Fishing. I hope this video helped you out on learning something a little new. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I hope you all have a great one. Artillery Fishing, out.